Let us pray our Easter prayer. And let us, in a practical way, put this on today's conditions. We, dear God, decree that we are children of the third day, not the first where everything appeared dead, where everything appeared hopeless, where everything appeared as if it would be no more. The whole Easter message, God, the message that you continue to shout from the rooftops is that life continues, that life rises up, that life can take command again and become full and mighty through your power. God, I ask you to touch each of us on this Easter week. Fortify us, strengthen us, cause the light of God to come through us, cleansing and renewing and rebuilding us. May we have a feeling a knowing that we are not at a bottom level, we are not hopeless, that we have you with us, and therefore we are more powerful than anything, anywhere. And because you are with us as our creator, we can do all things and be victorious. We are children of the third day. We rise again with Jesus Christ. We do what he said we could do. And we accept this. And we walk forward out of our tombs of limitation into the light of a new day and a new life. We give thanks, God, that you will touch our minds with a divine inspiration where we will know that this is true, not just in general, but about us and about us right now. And that no condition anywhere can stand up to the power of God. That is a powerful Easter message And it's an individual Easter message. And we pray, God, that you will touch us and make this Easter more profound than any other. Not the same message that we hear every year about what Jesus did, but about what he said we could do also. We follow Jesus. We take the teachings from the great teacher and we put them on. We wear them. We have them inside of our soul. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.